You know what? Believe it or not, Mo Three was the first one I casted from Tripoli Revenge. Wow, he was the first one I casted, and um, we talked about it right after tri the uh, the Tripoli movie. I talked to him about it. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. One on One. Yeah, we gonna talk. When you did the first one, uh, you you got past that. Now you come to the second one, baby. I see he was in, in it. I came down here to talk to you because I need your help. I don't be helping strangers. Seeing his face, it reminded me of a video. But then Mo Three, R.I.P. to Mo Three. He Mo ended up being in it. You fought a cousin, huh? Keep my cousin name out your mouth. Just no. talk. Take me down the road of how you guys end up. Even bringing him on the set and saying, this is what you guys want to do. I want to jump right into that. You know what? Believe it or not, Mo3 was the first one I casted from Tripoli Revenge. Wow. He was the first one I casted. And um, we talked about it right after tri the, uh, the Tripoli movie. I talked to him about it. You know what I mean? Wow. And he said he would do it. So six or seven years later, we come back and I asked him about it. And I just knew he was going to tell me, hell no. Which Why? Well, because you know, at the time he was a he was a different Blow. artist. Mm -hmm. He was bigger, bigger. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It was more of a demand for his music, mm -hmm. the whole nine. You know what I mean? So like, you know, and I would have understood that if he would have said no. Nah, but like, man, three was solid, and he kept his word, and he was like, mm -hmm. nah, we're gonna still do it. Somebody did tell me that y'all family might be on some revenge type shit. Fuck you! Ooh, I'm gonna shoot you. That's so. Anyway, the bottom line is, I went to Mo Three. And I was like, um, bro, you know, we talked about four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. you, are you still going to do it? And to my surprise, he was saying, yeah. And then I knew I really I knew I was really going to counsel myself out because I had to turn around and tell him, all right, bro, if you do it, you got to take acting classes. So he did some acting classes. Man, he did about three or four months of acting classes. Really? Uh huh. And you saw the difference. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's a def definite difference. When you formally trained, Chase did at the classes, too. No, he was the bomb in it. <laughs> yeah, he did. Class. I liked his acting in it. Yeah, okay. and, and, and I really just wanted everybody to have formal training. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The way I looked so at it. So everybody had to do acting classes? No, not at all, because to be honest with you, majority of the of the, the stars that I casted, mm -hmm. uh, the people that was out front were, were actors. Okay. You know what I mean? Actors and actresses. Shout mm -hmm. out to the to the cast. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But a lot of them was acting for a living or had a degree in acting or went to school for acting or whatever. Kind you know of, I noticed Mo3 didn't, didn't have like a huge role in there. He was in the beginning part, did a couple pieces. But me watching the movie for the first time, because I didn't watch part one. Right. I just watched part two. Right. I really thought that I would have seen him a lot more. Um. Well, to be honest with you, he didn't do every single part. <clears throat> that um, was in the script mm. because, I mean, obviously he passed on. Mm -hmm. But he did everything that he needed to do in order for his character to make sense in, in the film. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm very, very grateful for that. It almost reminds me of um, Paul Walker, Fast and the Furious, because he had passed away during that whole, you know, right. movie and right. so forth, but they right. still implemented certain parts of things that they had recorded previously yeah. or even get like a double gang or somebody to play certain parts you know showing him from behind which is really wasn't him but right. looked like yeah, him right. just to give him the credit to make sure that his kids get his daughter actually right. you know would get money from the movie and so forth right. so even going forward because i'm sure you're going to do another one will you have like a mo3 look-alike that might you know do certain parts in the movie um, just now, to, I wouldn't do I wouldn't do a, a Mo three look alike. You know mm -hmm. what I mean. But what I would do is I'll um, write something in dedication mm -hmm. of Mo three and who he was. You know what I mean. Okay. So we just have to see how that go. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. And, and so, yeah. so <clears throat> when you when 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 this here happens, I mean, with the way the city is, let's be real for a minute. You know, I asked him real quick. Sure. This boss talk. Hey man. Let's you know, it. when let's you when you take and add a Mo three to this movie. With all the controversy surrounding his, his him as a as a as an artist, uh -huh. um, did that kind of did that make things a certain way, or or did certain people not get involved because of the way that the conflict was in the city? Um, you know, if they did, they never came to me about it. Okay, you know what I mean. And Mo Three was the only rapper that I was really interested in having 
and Triple D Revenge. And of course, what I mean by rapper, because we had other cast members that did music, but um, you know, rapper that was really going on tour, on the radio, really active, Mo3 was the only one, you know what I mean? Because what I really wanted was, I wanted mostly actors, you know what I mean? Because I wanted to play ball, you know? And that's why I had Chase Pack and um, a few of the others, hey man, like yeah. Bay, hey man, take acting class, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, so when, when and, and I'm gonna stay on Mo3 for a second. No, no, for sure. Like when, when he ends up dying, when he gets killed on the street like he did, Right. At 11.55, uh, you know the movie is not finished. Right. What are your thoughts and how do you deal with it, you know, as far as what, what, what do you plan at that point? Do you start assessing, okay? First of all, it's tragedy. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, of course, we react to this a tragic thing. Right. But when it comes to the business, how do you respond and what do you do to try to prepare yourself for how you're going to get this movie out? Well, you know, when we first heard the news, I, I'll be honest enough to say that, I thought it was a joke. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. We, we thought that yeah. it was a prank. You know yeah. what I mean? Because shout out to Rain, you know, sometimes him and Rain, they be kind of like doing little pranks and, you yeah. know, little stuff. Yeah. But the bottom line is when I figured out that it was real, then the last thing on my mind was the movie. Of course. You know but I mean? you had um, to move forward with the movie yeah, in order for we, the movie to come we, out. We, so let's we, get to that. Yeah, we had to move forward. But uh, I, I, I believe that we kind of use that as motivation. Okay. You know what I mean? I got you. We kind of use it as motivation. To kind of keep pressing on, and we just looked at it like, man, we got to get this shit out now, because, um, you know, this is number one a dream of his, and number two, this is an opportunity for us to continue his legacy. Yeah, you know what I mean. But but when yeah. something like this happens, uh-huh. uh, talking with uh, Mr. Lee and different people that uh, work with different artists that pass away, All right. uh, now we start to look at the paperwork a little different and how things are going to be, you know, done with how. You know, people are going to be uh, compensated for whatever situation may turn out to be. How easy or how hard was that for you to deal with that part of it? Um, it Say, Fat, I'm interviewing now. He's yeah, like, this yeah. nigga done went in. Yeah, He's like, yeah. I didn't even know this boy was going to go yeah. there on the mountain. Yeah. He's yeah. like, woo, this nigga, we on boss talk, man. Yeah, <laughs> go, ahead. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. go ahead. I just had to give it to yeah. you, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Anytime, you know, somebody passed and then they're not here to speak for themselves. That's right. Now you got a million people trying to speak lie. for them. You know what I mean? And I'm not gonna say that it don't get complicated, cause it do. But I just did my best to try to remind everybody like, hey man, the, the, the bigger picture here is leaving the legacy for him and doing something in his honor. You know what I mean? And allowing ourselves an opportunity to be part of something that could live on and you know, for Mo3. You know what I'm saying? So like, that, that was my thing. I wasn't really tripping on the money, I, you know, People want to argue about that, but it's hard to slice a pie that ain't even here yet. Yeah. You know what, what, I mean? what about Rain? How how was it working with Rain after this? Because Rain had to pick up a lot of situations and and go a lot lot. Uh, uh, he had to go, you know, basically, you know, deal with a lot of situations and things when it came to albums, when it came to different things. Was he one that also gave his input on on the uh, Mo three part of the movie, or he didn't even bother? No. Nah, well. To be honest with you, Rain was a help from the very beginning because he was making sure that three got there on time. He was making sure that three was on point with his acting classes and all that. Man, shout out to Rain. You know what okay. I mean? So, like, I I, I, can't, I don't even got nothing to say about him concerning mm-hmm. that. Now, when it came to once he passed, you got to understand that Rain is hurt. Of course, mm-hmm. you got he got he got a million people in his ear, at his head, and all that, but. At the end of the day, I think we was able to get past that, you know. And you know, Rain was a big part of it. Yeah, so he, I mean, he's literally a big part of, of um, you know, the film and the whole nine. That's so. it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk.